Okay, so let's go over this uh, quiz question together. I've got my, uh, hope you have your calculator on hand. So here's a tax table and the first question is this a linear, is this a linear function of taxable income? So linear function means that there's a, for each um, uh, constant increase in the inputs, there's a constant increase in the outputs. So the exponential is where we're increasing by a percentage uh, of the previous amount and and um, linear is where we're increasing by the same exact amount each time right so let's check that so we got 18,000 183,250 here sorry let me just put that up to the camera you can see it on your uh, quiz of course but you might see that these are increasing by $200 aren't they and when we subtract these you're gonna find that they increase by um, by um, $66, I think. So well, anyway, I'll just do it to be sure. So if I take this number and subtract that, I can see that this increases by $200, yes. And then 183,650 minus 183,450 gives an increase of 200. So on my left, I'm increasing by 200. And on my the right-hand side, the outputs, I'm increasing by what and we can subtract that if you want but that should be sixty six dollars and then fifteen minus nine is six and um, twelve minus six is six so this increases by sixty six dollars and eleven minus five is six and nine minus three is six so this increases by sixty six as well so you can you can check this in your calculator as if you like but you'll find that the outputs are increasing by two hundred and the inputs are increasing by the exact same constant amount so this is a linear function yes because we have um, and the rate of change is a constant so like sixty six over two hundred is equal to 33 over 100 which is equal to uh, 0 0.33 or you could even think of it as 33 percent right 33 uh, percent but exactly the same though uh, same percentage increase um, each time and, and similarly here 66 over every time it's 66 over 200 which is 33 over 100 so it's a constant increase right and soon we'll see, look, for, for every $200 more you earn in taxable income, you owe $66 more in tax. That's what the table is telling you, right? Um, and again, think about taxable income in the sense of um, I've already uh, written off my business expenses, I've already taken my deductibles for having, you know, children and all that type of thing. And then this is just the income left over after the deductions and then what's taxable. So your your actual income, uh, the actual income of this person could be $250,000 a year or $300,000 a year or whatever. It could be a lot more than that, but that's what is taxable because after they've done their deductions, right? Anyway, so so for every $200 more, they, have, they owe uh, $66 more, but that's like saying for every hundred dollars you earn more you you owe an extra thirty three dollars or you could say you could write this as zero point three three over one for every extra dollar you earn over this you earn you owe thirty three cents so another way of saying it is I owe thirty three cents on the dollar more than of of income over hundred eighty three thousand two hundred and fifty right so this question is you know how much tax do you owe if uh, your income is 183650 right? Well, you know, you can read that right there from the table. I'm sorry the numbers are not coming up very well, but it's right here. See that? 183650 That's your taxable income, and this is the tax you owe. You read it right off the table. $44,732. Um, okay? It tells you right there. Okay? That's exactly, it's just, just making sure you can read the table. That's all the question is doing. Do you understand what the table is saying? This is your taxable income, and that's the tax you owe. Done, right? Okay, now what is the marginal tax rate for this tax bracket? Or how much tax would be due on, on one extra dollar earned? Well, if you were here for my 
uh, first question five video, I went over that. And what I was talking about was that, look, if you take this tax table, right, on the left, the in taxable income is going up by $200 each time if you subtract the amounts, right? On the right, if you subtract them, you'll find they're going up by $66 each time. So for every extra $200 in taxable income, you owe Uncle Sam $66, okay? out of that and you get to keep a hundred and uh, thirty four right so sixty six over two hundred gives thirty three over one hundred so you could also say that another way of thinking about this is you know for every every time I go up a hundred dollars I have to give Uncle Sam uh, thirty three dollars out of that right um, and I get to keep sixty seven right but 33 over 100 is also can also be written 0 0.33 over 1, right? So the other way of look, thinking about it is for every dollar that I earn over this amount, you know, I owe Uncle Sam 0 0.33, 33 cents on the dollar, right? So my that's my marginal tax rate, okay? For every dollar earned, over the 183,250, I owe 33 cents. And it is a linear function because it's the exact same, it's, it's a constant amount. For, for a constant increase, you get it on the, on the inputs, you get a constant increase on the outputs. So it's a linear function. And so therefore our answer is yes, 0 0.33. Okay. And give your answer as a decimal. Yeah, 0 0.33. I think I answered my own question correctly. Well, I better have. Sure, I'm teaching the class. Okay. So using the marginal tax rate above or otherwise, calculate the tax owed and taxable income of 183,251. Okay. So we went over in the previous questions that like we should have a tax a marginal tax rate of 33 cents. Okay. So what we want to know first of all with these numbers, and so here's our first number, it's 183,251. So what we want to know for right away is like how many dollars is that above the 183,250, okay? Because these tax brackets are, there's different tax brackets for different different levels. So so like if you're over, you know, 10,000 or whatever, it's it might be 12% or if you're over 100,000 it could be 20% or whatever. So this is a part of a of a bigger picture here. So if you're a dollar over 183,250, you owe 33 cents more. So um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to subtract the beginning amount, 183,250, okay? And we get that minus that gives just $1, one, okay? And then we just times that by, so we just go one, you know, times the marginal tax rate, 0 0.33, and of course that gives us 33 cents, right? And then we add that to uh, the tax that we already owe, which is 44,603. So we just go, you know, 44,603, and then we add on our 0 0.33, and this is the tax owed. So 44603.33. Okay, so that's the first answer. And I guess I should have, should have written it in here. I'll write it in here. 44603.33. Okay. Okay, so we do that for each one, right? And I'm just, I, I have these kind of simple numbers here just to kind of guide you through. So this is going to be, this is just 183,252. Can you just guess what the answer is? Just guess what the answer is. Press pause if you need time. Can you make a guess? So it's going to be this number but 0.66, right? Because it's just two dollars above the above the uh, the income level, the income level here, right? It's just two dollars above, so it's just going to be thirty-three cents for each of those two dollars. It's going to be sixty-six cents. It's going to be this number, 0 0.66. But we'll go through the steps anyway. So we take. I'll just I'll just write it here. So I take my one eighty-three uh, uh, two five two. I subtract one eighty-three two fifty. Okay, 
and I get uh, two dollars, right? And then I go two times 0 0.33 is 66 cents, okay? And then I add that to how much I owe for the 183,250, which is 44,603. So we go to 44,603, add the 0 0.66 to get $44,603.66, okay? And it's the exact same steps for this, okay? So press pause and do this one yourself. 183,950, sorry it doesn't show up very well. 183,950, right? Okay, I'm gonna do it now. I hope you press pause and tried it. So I'm gonna go 183,000. Uh, 950. I'm going to subtract 183,250. Uh, okay, and that gives me uh, five. Oh, what am I talking about? $700, right? So it's $700 above the um, above the um, the kind of our starting point here, right? Above our starting point, right? So we go uh, 700 times 0 0.33. I guess I'll put that in the calculator. 700 uh, times 0 0.33, right? And I get 231. And then I add that to what I already owe. Because just for having a tax milling of 183,250, I already owe the 44,603. So I go 44,603, and I add the 231, okay? And I get this. 44,834, okay? Uh, 44,834, and that's the answer there, right? Okay, so now we're asked to come up with a little formula to, to, to calculate what we've just been doing individually by hand with these, with these numbers here. So, let x denote the amount of your taxable income in excess of 183,250 and t the tax you owe, find a formula that give, gives t in terms of x. All right. So, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, what, you know, when you're doing formulas, you're kind of thinking, okay, what do we know and what do we want, right? Okay. So, well, by golly, we know what we earned. We're trying to figure out what we're going to be taxed. Isn't that right? So, we know x donate the amount of your taxable income in excess of that number okay so we know our x we know our, our income basically right uh, well, what do we want we want to know how much our tax is going to be right so we want some formula that goes tax equals do something with income in it okay you know, calculate something with the income in it to come up with our tax. Isn't that right? Okay. So that's why we need t in terms of x. That's what it means. T in terms of x. So t equals do something with x and, and, and spit out t. Okay. So uh, anyway, so x, we've done some hard, this kind of does some hard work for us already because x is supposed to be the amount of your taxable income in excess of, above, so, so remember that X is income above 183,250. That's nice, okay? That kind of helps us out because it's kind of like in this last question where our, our income was 183,950, right? And um, we found that that was $700 in excess of the 183,250. And then we went 700 times 33 cents and we added the the initial starting point, the 44,603. So so when we had $700, what do we do? We went that times zero, uh, or, or, or actually I'm gonna write this just because it looks nicer. That doesn't really matter. You get that, that times 0 0.33 or, you know, I'm just gonna go, you know, 0 0.33 times 700, right? And then we added um, 44,603. Remember that? Okay. And that's similarly what we did when we had $2 in excess. Remember that? We went, 
zero point, and, and that that gave us this number, by the way, forty-four thousand eight thirty-four. Okay, but when we had two dollars in excess, we went zero point three, or sorry, zero point three three times two dollars. Remember that zero point three three times two, and we added what we owed to begin with, right? Okay, and so that's that's this is telling us what our formula needs to be. So, um, it, it's it's um, we go 0 0.33 times x. That's the income in excess of our 182,250, and then we add what we already owe for that, which is 44,603 dollars. Okay, right. And so that's our formula there, right? Um, now, like, we we could start with going, you know, one hundred eighty-three thousand two fifty, and subtract. Oh no, sorry. I mean, we could start with going our just just our, our regular um, income. So it could be like whatever income is, and then we could subtract one hundred eighty-three thousand two fifty. Um, and then we could multiply that by 0 0.33, you know what I mean? And then we could add 44,603. But that's not what was asked in the question because x is, don is already denoted as, as the amount in excess of 183,250, okay? So, but uh, to be honest, if you, if you explain this and you put this, this answer in a test, like if you went like that and you specified that you were talking about, you know, just total income, I give you the points. I mean, that's a pretty cool answer too. Um, but 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 this is like for what's specified exactly in the wording of the question. This is the answer right here. You know, but like I said, if you're taking the test and you want to explain to me and write it out, you know, this X here actually means my total taxable income. Uh, that's fine too. Okay. Uh, but but always a little test taking tip. Always like explain what you're doing to me. Communicate. Write sentences. Show all of your steps. Um, but yeah, for the actual wording of the question, this is the exact precise answer here, okay?